Hello and welcome to the next episode of Mudcraft. My name is Cringy and it is so good to have you join me. So as you would have seen at the start of this episode, I've got some netherite gear now because I went for a little bit of a grind, mined some netherite, got some ancient debris, and now I look way cooler. This is how many diamonds I have now, pretty epic, and I'm just keen for this episode because I'm going to get some things done. Now there's a couple of things I'd like to say before I get into some serious productivity in this video is I'd like to talk to you, my viewers. Just this morning, as of recording this morning, this video, not the morning, but I am recording the video in the morning, I reached 50 subscribers. And I must say, that's awesome. The fact that I've gone from like, I don't know, I think 11 subscribers to 50 in the matter of like a few weeks at most, that is so cool. Thanks so much for your support everyone, and thank you everyone for the comments and all the kind things you've said. It's super nice making YouTube videos and having people comment on them and say, Hey, love your work. It's so cool of you to do that. My goal is to reach 500 subscribers. Wow, did you see how I just mined an entire tree in F5 mode? That was pretty cool. I really want 500 subscribers because... I just really want to be able to do community posts and do like votes and stuff because to be honest that just looks super fun to be able to do. So if you're watching this and you've been watching Mudcraft and you've been enjoying it and you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing because I want to be able to talk to you guys in community posts and do votes and things like what's your least favorite Minecraft mob and then everyone votes and What's your favorite ore? And questions like that, because I love doing polls. Like, oh my goodness, they're so fun. It's something, one of my favorite things to do is ask people like true or false or trivia or just would you rather questions and things like that. So help me reach 500. We're 10% of the way there. Thank you so much for your support. Cat? Cat from where? What? Oi! Egg of specialty time. I'm gonna finally be able to make my tree farm. Oh yeah, because I have all the resources I need. I've got a heck of a lot of honey and slime and glass and I've got redstone and heaps of really helpful items to make this tree farm. In the past, this has taken me about three hours to make and I've made it twice and it took about three hours both times. I wonder if this time I will go any faster. Either way, I think a three hour build calls for a time lapse. Let's do it. All right, so the tree farm works beautifully. It's just that I plant meh. It's just that I made the collection system in the completely wrong spot. And I tried really hard to specifically get it in the right spot before making it. And then look what happened. Oh, this is really annoying. What this means is my map is gonna have. <laughs> Most of the tree farm is gonna, like, half of it's gonna be off of the map. Oh, that's a pain. But hey, I have a really good wood farm now, okay? I just need to fix this devastating collection system. I'm devastated. Okay, it doesn't look terrible on the map when it's kind of out. It just frustrates me, that's all. So the awesome thing about this tree farm is that it can do four different types of logs and that's jungle oak birch and spruce which is pretty pretty epic it also automatically dispenses saplings while i'm standing here i used ill mango's design if you haven't figured that out already if you want to learn how to build it there'll be a link to ill mango's video in the description check it out Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is cool. I haven't got one for my axe yet because I haven't actually got a great axe. It needs silk touch and mending on it. 
so I thought I might as well wait until I've actually finished my axe before I upgrade it to netherite. Something I'd like to do now is I'd like to go down into the caves below and light some things up because I would love to do some sort of mob farms on my farming district and to do that and make those go well I need to make sure that no other mobs can spawn down below or at least a minimal amount of mobs. Let's do it! Hello. Hey. I was mining my diamonds. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, this is cool. I almost just died. It's just crazy how long you can spend in caves now and just not have any reason to go up to the surface. Like, I've been in here for ages. Where the flip am I? Let's see how many diamonds we get from nine ores. 26. <laughs> Something I'd like to do now is I'd like to remove my observatory because I've decided that I do not like it. Like, it's cool on the inside, but it's really lame on the outside. So, I'm going to delete it now. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. How could I be so dumb? So I've made a little island there, because maybe it would be nice to have an island there. And I'm thinking about getting a tree on top, but I'm not going to do that just yet. And then maybe the tree will have like a vine or something that will lead down into here and then yay my base i need to fix this problem though yeah. all fixed now what i'd like to do is i'd like to go to the nether and get some blaze rods so that i can get some materials for a broom as in a brew room, where I do some brewing in a room. The broom, the brew room, room, the broom. Now where are the blaze spawners? There's one. How do you do, my friend? May I please have your rods? Yay, four rods from my first blaze. It's the first day of my life. Whoops. Oh my gosh, two in a row? Three in a- what? What? Did you see that? Alright, I have exactly 64 blaze rods, so I reckon it's time I skedaddle. Where am I going? Apparently the completely wrong way. <laughs> That's awesome. Now where am I going to put this broom of a room? I don't know. Yes, I do. Downstairs. Alright guys, so this is my um my new brew room. Ready for epicness. Oh wait, hang on a minute. Who's in there? If it isn't Gandalf himself. Gandalf. Hey man. Welcome to my brew room, man. Yeah, welcome. I, I Glad just, to have you. I just thought of a new potion, you know? Imagine if we were Endermen and we could teleport just freely. Imagine. Or imagine if we were blazers and we could shoot fireballs at will. That'd be pretty sick. Hey, I it reckon if you can supply me with one brown mushroom, I can turn us into any mob you want. That's a tough ask, but I reckon it's worth it. And wait, <laughs> I also need glass bottles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gandalf, are you ready? That's a potato. Are you ready? <laughs> I am ready, bro. All right. Evidently. We, by the way, just just a warning: we might pass out, but and then like sleepwalk a bit or something. But we will. It'll be okay. What is this magic? Gandalf, wait. What mob were we meant to do again? I completely forgot. Oh well, let's just drink it. Yeah, let's just find out. <laughs> All right. All right. Ready, set, go. Gandalf? Gandalf? Wait a... Wait a minute. What? Cringy? 
Wait, is that you? Cringy? Yo! Is this... <laughs> Why are you so frail and white? What are we? We're horses, bro. Dude! Look at my... Whoa. Look at me go! I'm so athletic! Oh. <laughs> we have to go show Blaze. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah! You're so fast compared to me. Dude, I'm athletic. Look at me go! Oh, my goodness, dude! Oh, wow. watch out, watch out, watch out. I overestimated my horse <laughs> abilities. Blaze! 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 Look at this, Blaze! 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 Where are you? Blaze! 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 Yeah. Dude, we became what? horses! Look what happened to us, bro! Yo! Oh my! <laughs> what just happened, man? <laughs> we became what? horses, dude! We became wow. horses, man! Bro! <laughs> look at us go! What this is happened? great. <laughs> I know. This it's is the excellent. best day of my life. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that actually looks incredibly realistic. Well, it is because we are horses. It is. It's very realistic. We are horses, my friend. <laughs> Look yeah. at my athletic... Ab Look at my... This is beautiful. Nice. Let's go show Dark. Yeah, this is so exciting, man. <laughs> Dark. 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 Darker. Hey, Dark. Darker. Dark. Over here, Darker. Darker. Darker! Darker, yo, can you hear us? Hey, man. Darker! We became horses. I can hear you, I can hear you. Dude, oh, oh, look cool. what just happened to us. What the vein? Holy. We're, I we're like had just a now, blackout, man. man, and now we're horses. Yeah. Some scientists. Some, yeah. I don't know. We're okay. wizards, actually. Whoa, wizards? I bet you That's wish you mad. were a horse, Dark. Um, I do actually. How does it feel of? having two legs? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> How high can you oh, jump? Look no, we me. didn't mean to make you feel that bad to not be a horse, man. Hey, man, I'll come down in the hole with you just to make you feel <laughs> like you're valued. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, we can't fit. Uh, Dude, uh, being a horse it. makes it hard. See, it sucks being a horse. You should uh, be grateful that you're a human being. Hey, Gandalf, what what do you want to do as a horse now? Bro, I want to... I don't know. What do horses do? Should we just go and... Yeah. Should we go and punch Blaze and then run away because we're fast horses? Also, there's a lot of wheat here. Oh, dude. Just... Why am I suddenly so hungry for wheat? It looks so good. It does. What? I'm taking some. <laughs> Yeah! Yes! yes. Oh. oh, this wheat is so good, Oh, man. my goodness. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, this wheat is the best. Let's go punch Blaze. Oh, be quiet. Shh. Very quiet. Run. Ow! <laughs> Whoa, horse is running off into the sunset. That's so beautiful. <laughs> what happens if you... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Let's clean up Poor some Blaise. of the mess we made. <laughs> Wonder if he's just watching out the window and we were just demolishing his, <laughs> all of his weight. <laughs> well, that was super fun being a horse with Gandalf. Man, I would love to be a horse again. Maybe we'll save that for another time because I want to do some other things now. So the thing I'd like to do is I would like to make a honeycomb part of my bee farm. Blaze has asked me for some, and I want to make one eventually, so I might as well make it now. But once again, I'm going to make a very temporary bee breed area. Ah, yes. The most ugliest thing you've ever seen in Minecraft. Oh, no! They got me! Through the door! One of them's gonna die. No! No! Okay, so if I want to be symmetrical... I could have a gap here, and this is the honey farm, and then I make a honeycomb farm here. But I kind of want more honey than honeycomb, if you know what I mean. You get a lot more honeycomb than you get honey. So I'm thinking that I put that there and let this go all the way to maybe here? Or maybe there. It may be a little bit annoying that it's not symmetrical, but... I just don't need as much honeycomb. I would love to extend the honey farm to be a lot bigger than this. So I need 20 full beehives, which means I need a total of 60 bees. So 
So I decided I would get a mod that would tell me how many bees are in a beehive when I pick it up because it's a bit ridiculous trying to figure it out by just how many bees there are. Three bees in this one. Okay, I've made my honeycomb farm. I've still got a bunch of bees in here so that I can extend the honey farm, but I'm not going to be super fussed about getting that going as soon as I can. One last thing I'd like to do before we finish the episode is I'd like to summon the wither so I can get myself a beacon. Just kidding, of course I'm not going to summon it in my farming district. What do you think, I'm crazy or something? How's it going fellas? Here goes nothing. Oh flip, my chest plate. Yay! Are you all okay? Guys! <laughs> They're all just chilling like, yeah man, they're all good. Another day without evil is another day that is good. Woo! Yeah, we killed the wither! Oh yeah! <laughs> I love it when mobs do that. Ah, oh, I broke my ender chest without my silk touch. That was dumb. I literally put my silk touch pickaxe in my ender chest and then I broke it with my fortune pickaxe. How smart am I? Indeed, the smartest seagull on the server. Oh, and I don't have my elytra in my inventory because I was just wanting to be careful and... Okay, looks like I'm digging back up. Ah, uh, yes, digging back up the hole that has already been dug. See you guys. Okay, that was a scary noise. I'm familiar with all the scary noises in Minecraft, but that was, that, that was something else. Speaking of ender chests and obsidian, I might go and get some for ender chests and obsidian. As in, I might get some obsidian for my ender chests and for the sake of having obsidian. Here goes nothing. Alright, two stacks of obsidian is enough, I'm happy with that. That is not the recipe for ender chests, is it? That is more like it. Ling -ling -ling. <laughs> Yay! Well, that brings this episode to a close while I'm in the middle of mining out the stone in my farming district to make the ground a bit greener and a bit nicer. Thanks so much for watching. It's so cool that we got some epic netherite gear. So good to have this tree farm going. Like, oh, so nice to have an epic supply of wood. And I got myself a brew room and turned myself into a horse for a bit, which was super duper cool. Got some extensions to the bee farm by making the honeycomb farm and plans to extend the honey farm. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. It was lots of fun. Hang on. That whole part with the horses was an absolute blast. My question for you today is, what was the last thing you had to eat? Looking forward to seeing you next time. See you later.